welcome back to part 7 of game maker tutorial i am sajil here and today we are going to add some explosion effect to our enemy so let's get started so we need to create a new sprite let's go to sprite create new sprite every time we used to load sprite but this time go to click on edit sprite new get a new window go to file and click on create from strip and select the explosion one dot png don't worry, I'll put in a link in the description box so you can download. So open the explosion and change the value 45, image height 45. I think that's okay. And I just make sure the black is covered inside the box. Make it 46 and this image height 46. Now, okay. Maybe 45 is better. Let's stick with 45 and click on OK. You have all the images right here. Now, if we click here, show preview, we can preview the animation but you see that black background is there so we want to remove the black background from every image so let's remove you can either use some photo editing like software like photoshop paint shop anything or there is a better way select the image go to image and erase a color that's shift control e click and tolerance to zero and click apply to all images in the sprite then almost black is gone from every image but this one have too much so let's remove change the tolerance to 10 and untick apply to all images in the sprite so only this image is affected okay the black is gone just go to this one and change the tolerance maybe to 16 click ok change every image and remove the black color so the explosion effect looks better This one is way too dark, so let's make it 14, now we made it to 4, have some black spots, change that, we made it to 5. Image 12 
person okay now image 13 is bigger so we need to reduce the size okay let's preview the animation now it look way better without the black background so click ok and ok oh we need it rename the explosion sprite let's go back and rename ok now I create a new object which is going to be our explosion rename ok now we have a new explosion object now we want to call the explosion image just whenever the bullet hit our enemy so go to enemies and on collision with bullet there is a action destroy the instance so just right click and delete the action go to main one and just drag this one change instance that will change the instance of the enemy sprite to another sprite when bullet hits so we want to change into explosion ok now every time the bullet hits our enemy it changes to explosion so click OK there is a problem but we are going to fix it after running and seeing the explosion effect see the explosion is not stopping it is keep on playing So we need to stop the explosion after one loop. So let's fix that. Go to explosion object and add an event which is the other and you might can guess at animation end. So animation end we want to destroy the explosion object so let's do it and see see now the explosion is working perfectly but explosion needed some sound right so let's add some explosion sounds we might need to add explosion effect one more place maybe right here on collision with player we might want to change it to explosion and delete the destroy instance action 
okay now we can add some sounds to the explosion so let's add some sounds go to sound create sound and load sound which is going to be the explosion sound open and rename this explosion one and click ok oh, you can hear the sound right by clicking this button which is play okay that's the explosion sound now we can add the sound right here on collision with bullet we want to add the sound In the main one here is the play sound drag it and select the explosion one sound and make sure the loop is false click ok and on collision with player add the sound explosion and loop is false click ok now the explosion sound is working let's see As we hit the enemy, the explosion sound is coming as we fire the bullets. So the sound is working perfectly and the animation is working. So let's add some sounds while firing. So add a new sound, create sound, we are going to load the sound which is the bullet sound, bullet open, rename, just bullet one and you click ok, now go to player the event global left pressed add the sound from main one play sound and bullet loop is false click ok ok and let's run and see whether the sound end is working <coughs> The sound is working. So that's it for this tutorial. And next time we will be finishing our game with some more fixing some more problems so see you next time